Vedika started vocal music training in New Delhi in India when she was only eight years old. She continued her training and entered the enchanting world of ragas in Hindustani classical music. The classical training provided her a great base for expansion to other popular styles. She moved to the United States for her undergraduate study in computer science at Georgetown University. It was during these years that she experimented with the fusion of Indian classical music, Western compositions, and has today blossomed into a very well-known singer. So welcome, Devika. Hi, Manesh. How are you? Hi, Ina. Great to have you on the show today. What got you into music, your early years in music? Tell us about that. Um, you know, I think I just wanted to sing. Um, one fine day, I came home from school and I told my mom, uh, I want to learn to sing. I want to do music. And she was like, are you sure you don't want to do something else? We could look at dance. It's beautiful. How old were you then? I was about eight years old. And, uh, and I was very adamant that I wanted to sing. Um, and so at that point on, I started my classical training um, and learned from um, several ustads in New Delhi. Uh, I would you know, go, go listen to them, go sing with them. They would come over to my place. I would learn. And that's how it really got started. Now, outside of your training, who was your real greatest musical influence that you would say? You know, it's very hard to answer that question, as you know, because it, there's so much music in the world. It's all so beautiful and fantastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think some of the great um, musicians I really um, get a lot of inspiration from are Ustad Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan Saab. Oh, um, he's my oh, yes. favorite too. He's phenomenal. Awesome. Um, Asha Ji, Lata Ji, um, Kishore Kumar, Mohammad Rafi, all these um, great singers uh, you know, in India. I learned a lot from them growing up, listening to them all the time. So I'm, what brought you to this country? Um, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to study, I wanted to do computer science, math. At that time, uh, I was really focused on kind of um, getting into that field. Music was always a passion, something I always did um, along with everything else that I was doing. Uh, but I wanted to come here, I had family here, I wanted to um, study here. The, the, you know, the education um, was wonderful. I was the at Georgetown. The opportunity boom time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she said, like, let's go to the U.S. and uh, study as well as pursue your yeah, career. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I had yeah. a lot of family here. My uncles have been here for a long time. And now so. you've had, let's see, two albums. The second album sat on the charts for about a year in That's India. Right. And I think you were picked up for a compilation and that particular compilation was on the charts for a solid year. That's and right. it was number one. How did that feel? I mean, were you? What did it feel like? Uh, I was floored. I, I loved it. I mean, I, I couldn't. Um, I couldn't believe it. Um, you know, the, the compilation had um, um, my favorites: Nusrat uh, Fateh Ali Khan, Sahab Rahat Fateh Ali Khan, Kailash Khe, Rabbi Shergal. It was a Sufi compilation, um, and uh, the track that was on that was Kandarinena, which was um, released in 2007. Mm -hmm. And so uh, for the entire 2008, um, this compilation was top of the charts, um, and. Uh, you know, I got a lot of visibility through that. People got to know about my music, my style, my voice. Uh, and, and that kind of really inspired me to um, work on the next album, you know. And um, that was Sari Rath, um, yeah. the second album that we did. And that was the album that um, subsequently also uh, got released in India by Saragama. Uh, and tracks from there were also included in um, yet other compilations. And so it was really a nice um, cycle. It was a nice uh, You were enjoying forward. all the success. Yeah, it, it really tradition. propelled well, me forward. Let me ask you this. You loved music. You were able to sing well. A lot of people do that, right? How did you translate that into a career? I mean, it must have been a transition from loving music, learning music, to converting that into a fully successful career. Well, she was what a was director like? at Yahoo. She resigned from Yahoo. Oh, she was a director. Yeah, wow. she was a director at Yahoo. I didn't. Uh, so yeah. It's like whatever she does. Turns she into does well. Yeah, Absolutely. she does yeah. well. Yeah. 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 I mean, I wanted to. Um, like I said, you know, I um, music was always a passion, but I, I was also passionate about what I was doing um, in the tech world in the Silicon Valley. But um, with the success of the albums, I just felt like I would be. Uh, wasting an opportunity if I didn't uh, focus on that more and didn't give it more of, of myself since I was so passionate about it and I really loved it like I really enjoy singing I love creating music working with talented musicians and that just um, makes me happy what, what do you think is the single most challenge for most of the musicians here Indian musicians who come from India and they have a different set of type of music that they adhere to, right. what, what is the stumbling block for them to take it to the next level? It's, it's just that uh, they need to compete uh, for people's attention. 
uh, and, and they need to be heard. And that's the hardest thing. So, so fortunately, um, you know, I, I, since I've been in technology, um, I've been able to leverage the internet, leverage iTunes, leverage YouTube to get my content out there so that it's, it's easily available. Uh, otherwise, if, if you're constantly waiting for your, your content to be aired on television, um, you know, and to get the kind of visibility that you really need, it's very hard. So I think um, so it's like internet marketing is more important internet marketing than is important being on TV. So yes. this yeah, is how world is changing. Yeah, this is it. The right. musicians world That's is changing. That's where we absolutely. need to get women now today. Okay. That's right. Yes. Absolutely. So yeah. are you going to ask her to help us out with this? Well, yeah, we'd love to hear you actually sing mm -hmm. uh, one line from your album. Sure. Why yeah. one line? Couple well, of you know, lines. <laughs> sing, sing the main mukra of the, the track Barkha Bahar from the album Sari Rat. <clears throat> Barkha bahar aaye, piya nahi aaye. Barkha bahar aaye, piya nahi aaye. Raato me taare gine aasu. Bahai Barkha Baharai Piya Nahi Excellent. Brilliant. Great. Wonderful. That was Excellent. really nice. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. For coming to our show. Yes. Nice. Thanks, Devika. Thank, Thank you for uh, you know coming out. We really appreciate that. Absolutely. We'll be Good back time. after these messages. Thanks. Stay tuned.